So the gaze stability exercise in Focus Builder is probably the mo most labor intensive um, option that we have in our in our app uh, to create, and the amount of resources that it took to create this uh, has been absolutely tremendous. So we're very proud of of what we've done, and I'm going to take the time to take you through exactly how it works. So. Uh, first page here. When you when you open it up and you go into the settings, you'll see that um, you can you can name uh, the exercise. You can put your patient uh, name or uh, whatever you want to do in order to remember what it is, where it is, and what it's for. Um, and also that so the second line you see repeat sequence. So you, we're going to create a sequence of exercises. You see the steps on the right hand side. Add step. Um, and as you add step, they'll kind of line up like that in orange. And you can create a sequence and have that whole sequence repeated as many times as you want if you would like. So uh, let's keep that at zero for now. And, um, and then the, the th third option on this screen is the size of the target. So let's make it a uh, large size. And then the spacing, you know, you can actually have your target spaced really close at 25%, 50, 75, or 100, which would be all the way out on the outside of the screen. So for demonstration purposes, we're going to keep it at 50%. Um, and also, you can just reset everything. So if I do reset all, um, oh, I'm sorry, on the right hand side, um, I have this remove all. Remove all will clear um, everything that I have, all the steps that I've created before. Um, and here, let's go ahead and create the first step. So when you add step, it takes you to a separate page. Um, and you, basically a step will be from any one of those nine uh, locations or nine dots to another. So Let's say that, for example, I want to start in the center at number five, and I want to do a, a gaze strategy, uh, gaze exercise strategy to go from center to the right. So I'm going to make my next target uh, number six, and I can select the type of motion you know that I want. So if I want it to be a pursuit, I'll pick pursuit, or it could be express saccade or overlap saccade. Um, and uh, let's just go with Pursuit in this case. So we'll, we'll do the next one as a saccade, so that way you can see the, the difference. Um, target type, you can pick anything you want. If you do Monster Set, the cool thing with that is that the target will change from one to another, or Sports Set. Uh, you can load your own image, uh, load it right here. Uh, you can also use crosshairs. We'll just use that one. That's the one I, I personally use the most. Um, some people get tired if they do exercise a lot. They want to be uh, entertained a little bit more. So we pick uh, monsters or uh, or a funny picture or something like that. Okay, so that color is red. You can change the color to whatever color you want. You can make it purple if you want. Now, the initial pause this is the amount of time the target will hold before it moves to a second location. You could do no pause, which will make it go right away. I never use this one uh, personally, but the option is there for you. Or you can make it a, a fairly long time, so that way you know the, the patient has just plenty of time to, to do their, uh, they may do a yes, yes, or a no, no a gaze exercise at that central target and if they don't have to be rushed um, in order to move on you know to the next uh, target or you can just do tap and this is my favorite option tap um, and the tap option basically the target will not move until you tap the, the screen anywhere on the screen of the iPad and then the uh, the target will move uh, by the way this exercise just it is not formatted very well for uh, iPhones or iPods. It works really well on the iPads, but it doesn't work um, on the phones. Uh, and then final pause, you know, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give it one second because I know that uh, at the beginning of the next exercise, which will start from my target six, I'm going to select tap. And so 
the final timing really doesn't matter. I could put no no pause if I wanted to because the beginning of the next movement will require a tap. And let's keep the pursuit speed at a five. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit done. So that's automatically saved up here. And if I want to make any modifications to it, I can just click on that orange bar and change anything I want, okay? So let's keep it the same. Now I'm gonna add another step, and this time we're gonna go, and I can go to really any of the other targets on the screen, but I'm gonna go from that right one, I wanna go back to center. So uh, I'm gonna go back to number five, and I'm gonna make it a, a saccade. And for some reason, maybe for this particular patient, a pursuit to the right and a saccade to the left is more beneficial. And um, in, in this case here, I'll be able to demonstrate as well what the difference is between the two and what it looks like. So um, I could even change the target type if I wanted to. I have one target going one way and a different target the other way. Um, let's just use a sports set for this one so you get to see the variety. Initial pause time, I'll make it a tap. And final pause, um, let's make it... Uh, We'll just do five seconds here. Quantity of saccades. I can decide how many micro saccades I want to go from number six to number five. It could be one or it could be five. So let's just make it a, uh, a one step, you know, to go from six to five, just in one. Actually, let's go two. Time interval, one second. Any of that can be changed all the way down to random. So we'll keep it at one for now. And save. Okay, so let me show you what this would look like. We will start in the middle. It's not moving because I didn't tap the screen. So now at this point, you know, I would do or the patient would do their gaze exercises. And as soon as they're ready, they keep their eyes on that target, but they can just touch the screen. And then the target moves. And it's much smoother on the iPad, by the way, if you feel like that pursuit didn't look perfectly smooth. Um, it looks much smoother on the iPad. This is just the video itself. Now, it changed uh, target type because that's what I had selected. And then it'll start moving as soon as I uh, hit the screen. Now, I would actually be doing my gaze exercises now at this point in time. And as soon as I'm done and ready to move on to the next uh, location, I hit the screen and there we go, two steps. Now back to center and I would do my gaze exercises again. And, and I could have created a sequence that was much more complex. Uh, you know, if I wanted to use more target um, locations, uh, I just used center and right, but let's say I added another step here. And from now I would go from five to four. So now I would do my gaze exercises, uh, right side, center, left side, and Let's put my uh, tap option to start. Here we go. And I'm going to pick a different target. And uh, let's see, we'll do some cards. And this time I'm just going to pick five. Okay, done. And now I have the third step. Again, I can go back to any of those and change them. Um, and then if, if for some wild reason I needed to go and I wanted to move in a diagonal plane, I could make a next move in, in a diagonal plane from four to number two. So it's highly customizable. So you can do whatever, whatever is needed for your patient. And we'll just do no pause for this one. So it'll just get moving faster. Okay, and uh, pursue, we'll leave it as a pursuit. Done. Now, I'm going to also expand uh, to 75%, so you can see uh, the difference here. Well, let's make that size a little bit larger. Okay, perfect. And here we go. And as soon as I tap the screen, there it goes. It starts moving. So the customizability uh, in this uh, exercise is just really wild. We, we there's really a lot of a uh, lot of thought and a lot of time that went into allowing for customizing exercises exactly the way that we 
we would want them. So, so here you've got the five steps of CODs, and then it's going to stop and hold, and I put no pause on the next one, so it just went straight on to, to moving on to the final step. So there it is, the gaze stability exercises. I hope that you find great value in this tool as we have.